cool. All right. I know there is a lot of digital information going around, a lot of websites. So what I did was I made a sheet for each student that has their login cards and how to get onto that website. So for each student, I picked one reading website and one math website, and it's going to look different for each student. This is just my practice example. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to use Lexia if reading under reading your student has a Lexia card. So this is the, the Lexia login card. I'm using a student that has left the district. So I'm just going to use his card. So it says their name is going to have their username. It's going to be your initials, a zero, and then the lunch number. And the password is PPK123. So the first thing I want to do is look at my instructions. Number one, I go to www.lexiacore5.com. I'm going to go to this link. And this is what it's going to look like. Now, I've already been on Lexia before, on this computer, obviously. If I had never been on Lexia, it's going to ask me for my teacher's email. So that's step number two. I would put in my teacher's name, email, emilyv at provo.edu. Okay, after you, you only need to do that once the first time you log in with a different computer. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is put in the username and password, which is going to look like this. So we're going to do this username, and we're having students practicing typing this in. It's a good skill to have them be able to do it by themselves. So please have them practice typing in themselves. Thank you. My password is ppk123. Log in. If that's your name, you say yes. You can have them say the password. I'm not going to right now. All right, so this is actually a school wide program that every class uses at Pebble Peaks called Lexia. If I chose Lexia for the reading program for your student, they're most likely trained on how to do it. So it looks like this it's going to load. So it will show a goal. So this one has a goal of 40 minutes a week to use. And it will show you how much I've done this week. All right, so what you do is you just start. It will start whatever level your student's on. Get ready to warm It's going to usually start with the warm-up activity, activity that they can choose. I'm going to choose grab and go. Let's play. Choose the letter you hear at the beginning of each word. It's going to look different See depending on the student's level. Can do before the time's up. Okay. Ready, go, doll. So I'm looking for a D. Net. Zip. Coat. Pin. Lake. Leaf. Bug. Cup. Red. That one's if you don't care. Let's see. So we'll just keep this fire on. Fish. All right, I think it's a minute. The moment activity. Book. Bag. Rope. Lake. Rock. All right. So that was my warm-up activity. It's going to have me do that every time I start awesome. Alexia. I'm going to push this arrow, and it's going to take me to my activities. Level four. The Amazon rainforest. I'm going to skip this intro. All right, so these are the activities the student has. This is going to look different depending on where your student's at. It's leveled for the kid. Um, so for example, this student had ending sounds, short vowel sounds, beginning sounds and letters, writing adjectives, and sequencing. Um, and you have to do that twice and then you move on to next level. So he's on level four. So this is the first half of level four. So you'll click on this one. So this one shows that you have to do one, two, three, four sessions of ending sounds to pass it. The one tricky thing about Lexia is if you get stuck on an area. So I know like some students have passed off everything, but it might say rhyming and they're stuck on rhyming. They can't move on to the next level until they do rhyming. So you might have to help your student go through it. Um, so they click on this activity, ending sounds. Um, Cake, cab, 
and I just can. choose the activity. You might have to help your students through the activities, but most of them are at their level so they can do it themselves. All right, that is Lexia, pretty straightforward. So it shows I did some minutes. I would recommend doing Lexia every day if you have time, if you're looking for some reading to do. Uh, it's what our whole school uses.